Hello, my name is Barbara DeWitt. I'm a National Wildlife Federation steward with the Broward County Audubon Society. Hummingbirds behave uh, so that they will uh, be able to survive. They, uh, their purpose is to, to, uh, to sip nectar, to mate, reproduce, and some of them to migrate. There are hummingbirds that don't migrate. They're endemic to a certain area in, or endemic to a, certain, um, to a certain country. And in order to see those birds, you have to go to that one place, find their nectar source, which is sometimes very localized and, and endemic in itself, and go to the area, specific area, where those hummingbirds are seen. Uh, Chile is one of those places that has uh, an endemic hummingbird that's in the northern part of Chile in the deserts, in the Atacama Desert. And that one is um, a difficult one to find and you really have to know where its, where its food source is. Uh, also the reason we see them, the ruby-throated here in the wintertime is because our f food source is plentiful for them and then when the weather starts changing they start going north into, uh, in fact, all the way up into uh, Alaska. There's hummingbirds even there now. And they, because the food source is there in the summertime for them, and into to northern and central Canada as well. Overall, the hummingbird's behavior is very whimsical. Uh, flitting here and there, uh, a surprise to see it here, a surprise to see its bright gorgets in many of them, its, uh, its fast wing beats, entertaining all.